the rollback posture. We've kind of played around a bit with the with the ward off posture. So going back to ward off posture, we we're talking about what animates it is Hong Jin. And Hong Jin is generally speaking an up and out kind of quality. It's a very, it goes from yin to yang. So there's an expansion. It's a, an expanding quality in, in, your, in your energy. And so the next stop on the train is blue energy, or that's more of a down and in kind of energy. This is kind of a very, very general way of talking about it, a way we can relate to it. Although in, in practice, you can access Kong Jin in any shape, any direction. Can't think of Lu. But the, the primary thing about Lu is going from Yang to Yin. And here again, Yang is expansion. In the simplest term, Yang is expansion. Yin is contract. And, and that is a way of talking about the direction that things are moving. So even though, let's say in the case of, of Pong Jin is, is a, going from yin to yang, it doesn't mean there's no yin in the posture just because it's going to yin. There is, there is a, there is a, a, an interaction between yin and yang, which is what allows it to have a chi flow. And these, it's where you're creating poles in opposition and if everything's going in one direction, then there are no poles in opposition. You may have some momentum, but you don't have you don't have internal power. So the capacity to hold those poles in opposition is what is what determines its the internal power on it. So with a rollback or lu jin, it's going from yang to yin. But in that, there's also a yang expansion. So there's, so you need that in order for, for the, for to manifest the internal energy. So the way rollback is usually taught us in our beginning classes is, you know, that it's it done as a very mechanical thing. You, you know, let's say, you know, do this kind of thing, or you're just rolling, your, your arms are moving across and down and, and circling around, and the, there's a, a tendency to move back in. It's generally taught as, a, as a, a dance move. You know, so it's a way of, of, of moving, and you sort of get, Get a general idea of that, and it's an introduction to what's to come. Unfortunately, many people never get past that stage. They still see it as a mechanical thing. And I know, it's, for me, it was a big awakening. Whenever I got into push hands competitions and realized that nobody was using rollback because it didn't work, not the way that we knew it, not the way that we were doing it at that time. And, uh, and particularly for me, it's like, okay, as a mechanical thing, there just no, there, there was no way to actually effectively handle that. Maybe if you're dealing with, you know, like a, a four-year-old or something like that, you can kind of guide them along and that's, that's fine. If there's a substantially different level of physicality between you and the person you're rolling back, but, for anybody who's competent, it, you know, it, there's nothing going on there. And so usually the way people interpret it is like, oh, I'm just gonna disappear. I'm just gonna get out of the way. So someone's coming in and it's sort of like, you know, the, the old psych, like you reach out your hand like they go, ah, oh, like that, you know, and, and you psych someone out. It's sort of like you're, you're yeah, push on this, ah, you know, and you're uh, letting them fall into the emptiness. And, and that's, a, that's a fun move. But it's something that people catch on to fairly quickly, so it, it's not a. Um, it doesn't surprise you very often. If it does, then you're hanging around with the wrong crowd. But uh, the uh, you want to. Uh, so that's also like a really uh, low-level way of interpreting the energy. 
and perhaps the highest expression of it um, that Ivan personally encountered was with uh, uh, Wei Sun Liao. I've mentioned it before in these talks, but that, uh, and I mentioned him also in the uh, in, in, in Western Gate. And, and that is, he said, oh, would you like to see rollback? I, I'm expecting, like, okay, you know, that kind of thing. And he just put his finger lightly on my, on my arm like this, and boom, I'm on the ground. And it was, the, the sense was as if a trap door had opened and I was being sucked down to the floor. And like, oh, why? I, I never considered that because the insubstantiality of it was very profound. It was like, oh, okay, this is, this is very different than the way I had considered because I was coming from a mechanical model at that time. And this was 30 years ago or something, but um, um, it stuck with me. And that memory is, is still very alive for me because it is, you know, it's a marker of like, okay, that is, I'm not gonna say the right way to do it. I'm gonna say it's the most insubstantial way that I have encountered to deal with, with the energy. That is, it just, it had a sucking effect that, you know, you're, uh, uh, it was quite irresistible. But in between that, you have a lot of other levels of substantial and insubstantial that I think we need to play with. So the learning to be able to um, I think personally, and it's something that I've been encountering a lot of my reading lately, is they, you, you really have to go through the, the denser, substantial realm to get to that level of insubstantiality. So that is, you have to learn how to connect up and so that you can, before you can learn to, to move 100 pounds with, with four ounces, you have to learn how to you move a hundred pounds with a hundred ounces or a hundred pounds, hundred pounds with a hundred pounds. You have to learn how to do that and then 50 and then 25 and then 10. And then you can kind of take it down, down, down. And then you can, you can expand your, your, the amount you're able to leverage even more, but it comes first by learning how to actually handle a big load. And that means that your structure, you have to build up your structure so that you can tolerate more force without muscular tension because the muscular tension actually gets in your way. So the, you know, the way of describing, you know, the way we are initially introduced to it, it's a very mechanical you know, posture where we're, we're kind of moving in a certain way and there is no chin there. It's, it's, it, and even very little lead. And then when you try to make something happen with that, with your muscles, you find out that it's, it's extremely weak. So there's some postures, let's say push or press that you can fake it using your muscles. You can fake it and a lot of people do. And you can get, you can, if you're strong enough, you can skate by for quite a while with, with that. Things like ward off and roll back, not so much. Like this, if you try to use your muscles to, to, to do that, it's really easy to collapse that, that, that structure because the muscles are not there to support it. And same thing with roll back. The musculature is not sufficient to to support it at a mechanical level. You need gin. And that means going back to our old friend, the three pillars, establishing your contact with the, with the big chi, getting your energetic co coherence involved and to unkink the hose so you're not blocking with, mechanical with muscular contraction, you're not blocking 
your uh, your energy that way. 